So guys, as some of you may know, DC Universe, the streaming service that is coming to us, which is going to be all holy things DC all in one place to watch things like new shows like Titans and all awesome things like that, has released a lot of information and I should have made this video a couple of days ago, but you know, hey, here it is now and here's my reaction to some of the things that you should be excited about. If you're not excited about already. No, but really that Dick Grayson suit just looks so badass. And I'll have another peek at it in a second because I've kind of saved it for this video to proper like give my thoughts on it. But from what I can remember, it just it was. <sighs> but if you don't know much about the DC Universe streaming service uh, or like what is DC Universe? Because it is kind of more than a streaming service in a way. It's a place where you can watch literally any of the uh, DC movies in like high quality HD. Uh, even apparently the Batman the animated series is going to be on there in high definition. Uh, obviously you're going to get new shows like Titans uh, which is going to be a live actions Titans freaking show but you should already know that. Um, we'll talk about that in a little second. Uh, you're going to have Doom Patrol. You're going to have this Harley Quinn show. Swamp Thing and of course Young Justice and maybe I've left one out but yeah that those are like it, new exclusive things coming to it as well but of course you can also read comics uh like you know digital comic exclusive um dc universe merchandise um and and just a few other things that i'm probably forgetting off the top of my head right now but only if you're in america yes that was sarcastic by the way but it just does drive me quite insane where things as amazing as this it's just like yeah yeah yeah, yeah you can do all this you can do that you can do this only here though, like like in this bit of the, on the globe, like not anywhere else. If you're a DC fan, anywhere else, no, you can't. And yes, I know it will be coming to other countries soon. But you know what I mean. But actually, before we get to the Dick Grayson uh, Robin photos, um, I want to go over a couple of the synopsis um, that they've released for uh, a few of the shows. Uh, so Titans is the following. Titans follows young heroes from across the DC universe as they come of age and find belonging in the gritty take on the classic Teen Titans franchise. So Dick Grayson and Rachel Roth, a special young girl possessed by a strange darkness, gets embroiled in a conspiracy that could bring hell on Earth. Joining them along the way are a hot-headed Starfire and a lovable Beast Boy, um, and together they will become a surrogate family and a team of heroes. So very, they don't give away too much there. Apart from that, there's this in, like conspiracy that could bring hell on earth. Um, and so yeah, just from that synopsis, it does make me very excited. I feel like any synopsis would make me excited because, as I said, I don't really give much away apart from just the basic premise of any kind of story you could imagine with the titans um but yeah I, I don't know it looks pretty pretty cool so doom patrol is a reimagining of one of dc's strangest group of outcasts uh robot man negative man elasti woman and crazy jane led by the mysterious dr niles colder they are called into action by the ultimate hero for the digital age cyborg banding together these rejects uh, find themselves on a mission that will take them to the weirdest and most unexpected corners of the dc universe um not so familiar with these characters believe it or not uh but nevertheless excited um i'm really kind of excited in general for this whole streaming service even though a lot of people do have the opinions oh it's another thing to pay for because as you guys know i'm a huge star wars fan there's got to be a disney streaming service there's gonna be like star wars shows on that as well so you got like netflix hulu disney dc universe I do get it, but they're going to get my money anyway, I suppose. So I guess I can't complain. And then we have Swamp Thing. Uh, a lot of people are excited for this one. Uh, follows Abby Arcane as she investigates what seems to be a deadly swamp-born virus in a small town in Louisiana, but soon discovers that the swamp holds mystical and terrifying secrets. When unexplainable and chilling horrors emerge from the murky marsh, no one is safe. And then, of course, we have a huge favorite of many, many fans, and I'm sure many of you looking forward to Young Justice Outsiders. It features the return of the fan favorite animated series with a huge cast of DC's most iconic young superheroes. Plus, brand new characters, many of whom are just discovering their unique meta powers and special abilities. Set against the backdrop of a rich, deep world that touches all corners of the DC universe, uh, the season focuses on meta trafficking and an intergalactic arms race for control of these super powered youths so that premise sounds very exciting to me looking forward to seeing more of that i actually never finished young justice before um i did like it um but i'm definitely gonna like speed up in time for like young justice outsiders um just to get you know that same vibe going and to be honest you know meta human trafficking and, and also an intergalactic arms race for, you know in terms of having control of these uh young metas and you know all these 
probably or these villains um trying to get the control of these super powered youths as it says right at the end of the synopsis there it's pretty interesting so i'm looking forward to seeing how the young justice guys handle this one and then of course i think it's just called harley quinn and that follows harley's adventures after she breaks up with the joker and strikes out on her own in this new adult animated comedy with the help of poison ivy and a ragtag crew of dc castoffs harley tries to earn a seat at the biggest table in villainy the legion of doom so wow that actually sounds pretty cool I, i'm i'm really um interested in the fact that it's an adult animated comedy like those are very strong words there adult animated comedy it's not you know i'm just hoping for a lot of those messages that we kind of get that we can laugh and crack about and it's with characters I, i'm just hoping they don't hold back and just make it not that i have a problem with Ju young justice because we all enjoy that a lot well most of us do at any age but the fact that it will be harley quinn and it's an adult animated comedy really does make me think mm hmm is it how's this gonna you know feel but i don't know guys those are just my thoughts let me know what you think of each synopsis for each show um I, were you surprised that we didn't get kind of a little bit of a trailer for each one even if it was just five seconds of montage of each one and you saw maybe uh i don't know dick grayson just swoop down and his cape goes flap and stuff like that not that would be like mega mega teaser but i'm surprised they didn't do that with this kind of official announcement they did for the streaming service uh that is dc universe um, i guess they're saving it for something cool um I, you know of course they have plenty of footage by now so that's why i guess it would have been even cooler if they dropped some footage with this announcement where they really kind of disclose a lot of information but yet they only posted two pictures of only dick grayson and not any of the other titans and they didn't really show much if not anything apart from synopsis a synopsis for each one of these uh, animated shows so i don't know let me know your thoughts there but let's move on to the dick grayson mother flipping photo because it is absolute bad so there are two photos one's like a full full body shot and then one's just more up close of dick grayson's face um so i think i think he looks absolutely i don't think he could have looked any better uh now i think it's definitely we should be careful to not get too carried away with this because i've spoke to some people and and there is like an opinion it's like hmm why are they not showing any any of the other titans it's kind of like what i spoke about a minute ago they've this is really the most exciting real thing we've seen out of this uh announcement from the streaming service uh these dick grayson photos in his full robin gear um but, you know, I'm I'm going to be optimistic, but also very comprehensive at the same time. Just because we've got some really cool, sick freaking Robin gear doesn't mean that the show is automatically going to be amazing. But what I will say is uh, one of my mods in my live stream, Jalen, she pointed out how this would be literally good enough uh, to be in the DC universe, this kind of armor uh, or production of it. And I definitely agree. It is it is basically there i mean if you remember that robin suit uh from batman vs superman that is really cool and it's very very reminiscent of that as well obviously he had the staff i think the casting's perfect i think the suit is perfect obviously you can see that kind of like kevlar weave they kind of used in the arrowverse you can kind of see that like hexagonal kind of popular uh pattern that goes on in a lot of superhero suits these days but to be honest that does happen in the uh dc eu as well i don't know really what more i could say all i'm doing is looking at it like as proper you know nerd eye candy in terms of the armor here i love the belt the utility belt as well it's so you can really kind of see obviously no shit we know what batman's suit looks like we can always guess what it would look like in this universe but this really does give you a feel of what like the batman would look like in titans i don't think we're going to get that maybe like a silhouette in the distance of like him using his grappling hook and then you know it quickly goes to dick grayson's face and you know that's what we are getting uh that would be cool i think it really brings out the style uh the vibe and the tone of what we really want from a modern day robin badass live action suit it's as i said it's not cheesy the only thing is the cape is just purely purely cosmetic by the looks of it um i don't really see how uh even though in a lot of robins it's not like batman's which can kind of help and glide in certain versions you never know somehow this might in a lucius fox way this fabric might repel bullets in a way even though it kind of i don't know how that would make sense but you would you know what i mean like a freaking frodo mithril chain kind of suit kind of way but no it does look like fabric and <laughs> it does look like it would tear through but that's just my freaking imagination getting the better of me looking forward as i said to seeing the other suits like uh, raven suit beast boys and stuff like that i think it won't be as amazing as this one and i think the reason why they released this one first is 
because they know it's badass as well. But obviously this show is going to not necessarily revolve around Dick Grayson or anything, but he is going to be kind of the helm of the Titans, right? And that's this suit is badass, as I just mentioned. So therefore, why not show what's coolest first, maybe? Uh, but maybe I, I do agree they should have released just like two or three pictures maybe with maybe not close-ups of the other characters but maybe like a still shot of like beast boy or something that would be pretty cool but i don't know guys i'd love to know your thoughts there but apart from that guys that is this video I, i'm really excited for all of this to go down you can be sure i will be covering titans uh, in one way or another um, i want to do a lot more videos like this kind of thing but for that show uh so 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 hyped it is so up my alley and i, and I really can't wait for this to come to our screens um and, and, I, and i would just love to know your thoughts in the comments below but other than that everybody if you're new here why aren't you subscribed already be sure to subscribe hit all you have to do is hit that button or in the link at the top of the description uh and be sure to turn bell notifications on as well so you never miss out on the video just like this thank you to all my patrons links are in the description below uh be sure to check those out if you do want to uh, support the channel more and also follow me on twitter or anything like that. But other than that, everybody, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.